Turn to your left. Oh. What's up? So, um, you might be wondering, um, uh, Martin, what the hell are you doing in jail? So, um, I'm currently on death row, and you might be wondering what I did. So, I allegedly, I allegedly, I ain't true yet, bro. They ain't proven it true yet. I allegedly stole candy from a baby. And, uh, I'm on death row, bro. The guards told me that, um, they gonna put me in an electric chair tomorrow. So, they telling me I gotta go find my last meal. So, uh, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing today, bro. I'm gonna be, like, searching through the internet, and I'm gonna be trying to find the last meal that I'm gonna eat before they put me in an electric chair. Yeah. And you might be wondering, like, how I got a phone in jail? You asking too many questions, bro. Like, God dang, bro. Chill, bro. I'm already on death row. Like, dang. What more do you want from me? But anyways, though, let's um, scroll through the internet and let's find the last meal that I'm going to eat <laughs> before they put me in an electric chair. But anyways, y'all, the first death row inmate meal that I can try is this person named Joseph Michelle Persons. Joseph Michelle Persons was executed by the state of Utah in 1999, but not before he ate his last requested meal of three Burger King Whoppers, two large orders of fries, a chocolate shake, a chocolate chip ice cream, and a pack of grape Humba Humba bubblegum. He requested to share this meal with his brother and his cousin. Dang, bruh. Dang, for his death row, for his like last meal, he wanted to eat it with the family, bro. Like, dang, I kind of feel him on that. No cap. I, bro, no cap, bro. I, I'm gonna go try his last meal. Hey, guards. What's up? Can I go? Yeah, you can go. All right, bit, bit. Anyways, though, let's go try Joseph Michelle's person's last meal. All right, y'all, so we're at Burger King, and I'm about to go ahead and try that, that, that meal. You feel me? All right, so look, I, I am currently on death row. Do you know what that is? Yeah, they're gonna put me in an electric chair tomorrow and I came here for my last meal. So, right before they kill me, I'm gonna make sure that I eat me some Burger King. So can I get me two Whoppers, okay. um, two large fries, um, can I get a chocolate shake and um, chocolate chip ice cream? And um, yeah, that's all. Your total is 16.53. Okay. Can I get it for free? I'm going to die tomorrow. They can put me on an electric chair. You don't have a heart. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a large chocolate shake. Hmm. After they kill me and I'm going to become a ghost, I'm going to haunt you. All right, so boom. I got Joseph Michelle's person's last meal. Boom. So boom. I, I got... I got my two fries, I got my two two Whoppers, and I got my milkshake. I mean, I, yeah, and I got my chocolate shake. Let's see if his last meal is hidden or not, you feel me? First, let me try to shake, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Let me try to shake. Oh yeah, this thing hitting. All right, let's, all right, let's try the Whoppers. Let's try it, though. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This Whopper is freaking terrible, bro. This is a six at best. But um, I'm starving, so I don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm hungry. I gotta eat, bro. <laughs> I've been eating number jail food, bro. So even though this this Whopper is freaking terrible, bro, I'ma still eat it. I don't care, bro. I can't be too picky, bro. I'm God, bro. Biggers can't be choosers, bro. No cap. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This. To have this as a last meal is a terrible choice, bro. Like, God damn, bro. Like, this meal is a terrible choice for a last meal, bro. Like, golly. Like, bro, if I had to rate this as a death row last meal from a scale of 1 through 10, bro, I'd give this like a negative 2. Like, out of everything, you chose Burger King's Whoppers? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm back in jail again. <laughs> Look at it. I got my little toilet right here. And I got a toilet, a sink, and I got me a little comfy bed. You feel me? <laughs> but anyways, though, let's let's go ahead and try the next death row inmate meal, last meal. Gordon Lee Mitchell. Executed by the state of Texas in 2011, Gordon Lee Mitchell didn't ask for a filled meal as some others would have asked. He asked for an assorted bag of Jolly Rancher candy. All my boy wanted was some Jolly Ranchers? That's it? Bro, could have got anything. And you just want a Jolly Ranchers? 
Alright, <laughs> guess I'm gonna go try it. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so boom. I got um, whatever that dude's name is, the last meal, which basically was just some freaking Jolly Ranchers. Let's go ahead and go check this out. Are you out on good behavior? No, ma'am, I'm on death row. Death row? Yes. You don't look like you're dead. I'm on death row though. They gonna put me on electric chair tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, and I, and I want Jolly Ranchers as my last meal. Oh, that sounds like a pretty good deal with me. Jolly Ranchers? That, that's a good meal? Is that a good meal? Oh, sure. Whatever you want. Okay, yeah. yeah. W would you get Jolly Ranchers for your last meal if you was on the throw? Probably not. You wouldn't? What would you get? I would probably get a, probably a Nutty Buddy and okay. a cup of coffee. A Nutty Buddy and a cup of coffee? That ain't too bad. I might get that. You need to try it. I, I, I will. I will, okay. man. All right, ma'am. Um, wish me luck. Hopefully, um, the, the, the electric trail malfunction and... I don't oh, get yeah, killed. I, I'm not the way the state is. It probably won't. So. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready to go? No, I don't want to go. But, but, but what did you get? What did you? What did you do? I stole candy from a baby. Allegedly, allegedly. You did what now? I I allegedly stole candy from a baby. Oh my word! Like, I didn't know it was that bad. What kind of candy was it? Like he has some Jolly Ranchers. Oh. I'm so sorry. All right. Goodbye. All right, y'all, so look, I got Gordon Lee last meal, which is basically just some freaking Jolly Ranchers. Let's go ahead and, I don't know, suck on them. <laughs> Let me give me a blue one. Blue's the best one, no cap. Blue's the best Jolly Rancher color, no cap. But no cap, out of everything that this dude could have chose, all he wanted was some freaking Jolly Ranchers. This dude's just making terrible life decisions. The first bad life decision that he made was whatever that put him in jail. And then the second bad life decision that he made was choosing some freaking Jolly Ranchers as his last meal. Alright y'all, so the next death row inmate meal that I'm trying is, is this meal that was chosen by this dude named Brandon Clay Kirkham. Executed in 1958. Damn! That was a long time ago. Brandon Clayham asked for his last meal to be, a, to be pizza and ice cream. Because you can get cheese, meat, and everything else in one meal. Not too much of a fuss. No cap. Pizza and ice cream isn't a, isn't a, like isn't a bad combination for a last meal. Cause bro, pizza be good as hell, bro. Pizza be amazing, and then like ice cream be good as hell too. I ain't gonna cap. That ain't that ain't that ain't too uh, bad of a last meal. Let me go try it. All right, y'all. So we're going to Pizza Hut so I can get Brandon Clay Kurtham last meal. They go ahead and get it. Welcome to pizza. All right, so look, um, I'm, I just came out of, well, I'm in jail. I'm currently on death row, and I'm here for my last and final meal. So can I give me a pizza? All right, y'all, so I got Brandon's Kirkham final meal. All my boy asked for was some pizza and some ice cream. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if my boy meal is hidden. Let's grab me a slice of pizza. OK. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Pizza isn't a bad choice for a last meal, bro. I ain't gonna lie, because pizza's pretty freaking good, no cap. It is not a bad choice for a final meal. No cap, bro. No cap. And then, like, getting some ice cream with it, too? I ain't gonna lie, bro. His last meal kind of fire. No cap. His last meal kind of fire, bro. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing when he chose his last meal. I don't have no spoon, so, uh, excuse me while I eat like a barbaric. No cap, bro, if I had to rate his last meal on a scale of 1 through 10, bro, I'd give it like a smooth 8. Because I ain't gonna lie, bro, it ain't bad, bro, because pizza's always good as heck. And then, like, um, you also getting some ice cream with it, too? Th that ain't a bad last meal, no cap. Come on, man. How the heck do I get out of here, man? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be in the electric chair! Oh. Uh. <laughs> you got me trying to break out. Just pretend like you ain't see that. But anyways, though, the next death row inmate meal that I'm going to try is this meal made by Alan Lee Tiny Davis. Alan Lee Tiny Davis was put to death in Florida by the electric chair at the age of 54. He was sentenced to death for robbery and three counts of murder. For his last meal, Davis requested lobster tail, fried potato, a half a pound of fried shrimp, six ounces of fried clams, half a loaf of garlic bread, and 32 ounces of A.W. root beer. Dang, this dude 
got himself a freaking full course meal. Let me go try, bro. Let me let, 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 let me let me go see if this thing hit or not, bro. He knew what he wanted. No cap. All right, y'all. So I got Alan Lee Davis last meal. My boy asked for a lobster tail with a fried potato and shrimp, and he also got garlic bread. I got all this in, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just by the presentation, bro. This is last meal worthy, bro. This is like last meal material, bro. No cap. <coughs> let's go ahead and try and let's see if this thing hitting or not. You feel me? Let's try the lobster tail. I don't think I've this, bro. I've never had lobster tail ever in my life. This is like my first time ever trying it. Wow, this thing actually pretty good. Y'all, no cap, bro. Lobster tail tastes a lot better than I, than what I thought it was gonna taste like. But I'm not gonna lie. It tastes a lot better than what I thought it was gonna taste like. Yeah, I ain't a cap, bro. The lobster tail is pretty freaking good. No cap. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and let's try the 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 the, the fried um, baked potato with the with the shrimp on it. Let's see if this thing hitting. Y'all, no cap, bro. No cap, bro. I love baked potato, bro. Bro, baked potato is good as is, is good as hell, bro. I love baked potato, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, so far, bro, this meal is a 10 out of a 10, bro. No cap. So far, bro, this meal is like a 10 out of a 10, bro. Because look, bro, the lobster tail hitting, the baked potato hitting, you feel me? Let's see if the shrimp is hitting, you feel me? Let's see if this shrimp is hitting. Let me dip this in the ketchup. And let's try it. The shrimp is all right. It ain't hitting like the baked potato on the lobster tail, but it, it's all right. It ain't bad. But no cap, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this meal is a 10 out of a 10, bro. But this is an amazing last meal to have if you're on death row. I ain't gonna lie. Like, oh my gosh. Like, this would be the type of meal that I would have if I was on death row. No cap. So after Martin ate his last meal, he went back to his jail cell, went to sleep, and the guards woke him up at 4 a.m. in the morning. They strapped him up to the electric chair, and boom! He was gone.